So hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of the Pirate 101 walkthrough. Today we are going to help Manny move on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what he needs our help with. There's a debt I owe and I can't move on from this world until I pay it back. Mm -hmm. Before I joined Ratbeard's crew, I sailed with a pirate named Zadok. He set out to find a lost city of gold and we found the way to it. The passage to that city lies in this very cave, through that tunnel. Zadok found the key that opens that ancient door. We were rich, we thought. You thought. But then we heard a terrible roar from the passage. Me and the lads turned tail. We left the cat in behind. Oh. Fearing our doom, we shut the door. I pilfered Zadok's key, you see. I locked the door, sealing my captain in forever. We've called this place Traitor's Cave Oh, ever since. it's because of you. Zadok's been stuck in that cave all this time. The guilt's too much. I beg you, go save him. You'll find the key in that chest there. Okay, where's the key? Okay, that's why that's there. Let's go find Zadok in this city of gold. Open the ancient door, Captain. So See of so gold. Good. Let's get going and be ready for trouble. Oh, I'm ready. Don't worry. And there's bones. Oh, there's person. Zadok, our first hunt is over. Now we shall find this city of gold. Oh. Who the blazes are you? Back. Stay back. I warn you, this place has mighty guardians. You little crazy, but I don't blame you. You've been stuck in here for a very long time, I guess. Are you? Real or another dream? Been trapped here so long I lose track. Manny sent you. That mutinous rat. I wait. Who's Manny again? You just you just said he's a rat. You know who he is. Wait. Listen to me. Look up there. You see that hole in the ceiling? There's a lost city up there. A city of gold, just waiting to be plundered. When me crew left me here, I had nobody to work the winch, you see? Couldn't go up, no. But now that you're here, we can go... No! No! The key! The winch, it needs a jade key, and it's gone. The cursed cave lizards, they took it. Get it back from them in that cave, then we're rich. In that cave. Somehow I feel like he's gonna betray us. Ugh, look at these wee beasties. Let's see if any of them have that key. What? There ain't nobody there. Oh, there they are. Okay, there's just another pirate there. I'm waiting for them to move so I can get into battle without pulling them. Come here. All right. Do, do, do. Okay, let's see. Let me get you out of the way. Subadai, you can come here. And then, uh, Sarah, you can hit as a backup. Because I usually don't kill. And I do need a backup sometimes. One day, oh, never mind, you're no good backup. backup. One day, one day I will be able to one-shot them. One day when we are powerful enough. Okay, um, I'll hit you. Sebo die. You can hit this guy here. You can also hit him, and then I'll have you hit this guy. Nice. I like how they just fall on their back. Smolter, as always. Or ripostol? Is that how you say it? Ripostol? <laughs> I guess not. Um, let's get you, you, and then you. 
Smack, smack. Smack. Let's get you a smack. And then one more smack, and it should be dead. And smack. Okay, cool. Where my key at? Where that jade key? Give me that. The lizard had this jade plate. This must be Zadok's key. Let's go give it to him. Okay, I understand now why they were stuck in the middle. That's the one thing I really don't like. I wish you could, like, move instead of having them just, like, talk to you, which would be nice. Who's there? Get back! This place has mighty... Oh, wait. <laughs> it's you again. You're back! You were gone so long! Or were you? Poor guy. Did you find the key? Yes! Here! Now we can... But do we dare? The city! It's not empty! There are things up there! Things? Big things. Oh. The old book said the ancient ones were gone. But they're not! I've heard them roaring, thundering. No, it wasn't a dream! Wasn't it? The ancient ones aren't the only ones who've gone. He's gone. Gone completely bar me, Captain. Mm-hmm. No! No. I'm not crazy. I'm not. It just may be dangerous. Yes, that's it. Very dangerous. You go first. Besides, the winch can only be turned from down here. You climb in a basket, I'll work the winch, and then the gold will be ours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Won't it? I still, I think he might be lying. I might, he, I think he might betray us. I don't know. I don't know anything don't, past this point. I don't think we're in Skull Island anymore. Azteca? You! You? But no, you are not that one. Whoever you are, I need your help. Do we know you from Wiz? What am I? I am Azteca Soul. From Doomed Azteca. My ancestors built this place long ago and then entombed themselves. Doomed Azteca? The city to the jungle. Does that mean Shabab was already hit? Because in Wiz, it's just, it's always about to hit. But it says doomed. Azteca is doomed. Oh, oh! The Queen of Shadows has come and More enslaved damn. the Lords of Night. Its son Halak the Shaman led the people of my city here. Okay, Escape. more Wiz lore. But we have traded one doom for another. Some evil force in these ruins unleashed dark magic that drove many of our warriors mad. My people are trapped now, and their food is nearly gone. I led some hunters out to get more meat, but a frenzy took them. Only I kept my wits. Help us. Take the meat back from the crazed hunters and bring it to the plaza of the portal where my tribe waits, starving. Okay. So this is kind of like where we're at in Wiz. Can I get into a battle with you? No, alright. That's fine. At least let me get these guys. Okay, thank you. How many can I get in a battle? Okay, you get four. Nice. We'll just all attack this one while they move to us. But that's really cool. Okay, so during this part of Pirate, it's before our wizard in Wizard 101 defeated Morgan. Because of, as of right now, the highest level that you can get is 160. And you're a prime wizard, which is what my life is. Because I'm a, I'm a life main on Wiz. But, um... You're in the second arc, so this is like right before we defeat Morgant. So I'm guessing pre-Chrysalis. Let's just all attack and have these guys keep moving forward. Cause why not? Why are y'all hitting? It's not your turn. It's not your turn. <laughs> it's a turn-based game, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Oh, come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Thank you. It's just, it makes you think, because like in my last episode, which for you guys was like a little while ago, for me it was like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Who are you? What is this? A smooth skin? An agent of the Shadow Queen? Crush it! Slash it! 
Wait, stay your hand. Ooh, I like their design. Three wheels, a scaleless one, in Sholak Mool, and you came from the Well of Stars. Impossible. Oh. If you took this meat from our hunters, you are mighty indeed. Perhaps you were sent by the Lords of Night to help us when aid is sorely needed. Oh, I will help you. Why have you come, dearless one? Speak! You see, I want your gold. You have done us a great good, tiny stranger. But there is more to do. Tailless one, you have fought to help us. I am impressed. We have seen your kind's capacity for destruction. Now I see you humans can do good. Are you mad? You would treat with a smooth skin? Let my horns deal with this one before the Lords of Night abandon us! <laughs> is Lama Chol now a how of our people? No! It is I, Itza Malak, who was chosen by the Lord to lead our people through the portal to safety. You facts. You facts. And it is I, Itzam Halak, who sees that the Scaleless One is sent here to aid us. This one will help protect us all. I will. Aeons ago, this was a city of my people. We have returned only now, seeking refuge from the Cataclysm to come. But trouble has befallen us again. As soon as we came, the curse fell upon us. Oh. Dark magic. A great spell that would make slaves or mindless killers of us. Oh. I tried to hold his magic at bay, but without powerful talismans, I cannot hope to succeed. The court of Aztecozuma holds the great crystal of Chan Chich. The team Jack priests went to recovery, protected by each and Toon amulets. But the evil spell was too great. The Finn Skulls fell into madness. Go to the courts, recover the amulets and the crystal, and bring them to me. Okay. Evil magic threatens my people. Take the Ichantun amulets from the Finn Skulls in the court of Aztecozuma, and I can hold the spell at bay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put a little teleport here mark the spot because um it's asking me to go quite a ways away i thought it was these guys here but apparently it's not do, do, do. where do i go up here i guess yo ho ho music 101 king's isle that's your next game you're welcome music 101 i got you don't worry literally i got your back i got you okay let's see what to do here can we get you? Okay, we literally cannot. All we can do is move up. I guess I really should start using my like other spells, like the one that turns you invisible, because that can really help. But, um, I don't know. I don't feel like it's too, too important. Like, if someone's low on health, then maybe. What does this little thing over here mean? Level 5. What? I'm gonna click it. I don't know what that means, but I did it. <laughs> oh, I want to see what this is. Oh, this is an accuracy reducer, maybe? Oh, I finally got an AoE spell. Thank God. Love me a good AoE spell. Well, then we'll move you up here. Okay, I'm hurrying. <laughs> don't force me to move. Oh, are those those treasures that you get? They're like talents or something? Oh, dang. I kind of wasted my epics on that then. Or those cards or whatever. I don't really know what they are. <laughs> Little spell things, I guess. But I'm, I'm guessing that's what those like, little treasure things are. They're like little extra things you can use in battle. What are you doing over here? I thought you were supposed to be over there. Yeah, smack them up. Smack him up. Oh no. Ooh, he just keeps hitting some of the guy. Oh. I don't know what that means, but alright. Um. 
What is this? I'll use it just in case. And then I'll have you guys hit this guy. But I just I wanna see what this is. Okay, it is a hit. I'm guessing it just decreases. Um agility, maybe? I don't know. I'm still kinda confused on how these cards read. We have the amulets, Captain. Let's get that crystal. Okay, get this crystal here. How do I get up there? Hello. Oh, it's a little skull. There, Pretty. That's done. Let's get all this stuff back to the lizards. Well, the nice lizards, I mean. Yeah. Speaking of, hello. Where'd you go? You have done well, skillless one. But I fear your efforts may not be enough. Oh, really? Level nine. The counter spell will only hold so long. We will not be safe until the spell is broken. To do that, you must defeat the Ancient One who wove the spell. The Heir of Darkness, Chokakab. Chokakon? No. <laughs> Chokakab? Chokakab entombed himself long ago, as did so many of our ancestors. Now he is awake, but a shadow twisted his spirit, driving him to evil. The Risen Sorcerer lurks in his tomb. Deep beneath the pyramid of fire. We cannot fight Chokakam. To raise a weapon or claw against an ancestor is forbidden. Even if we could, his spell would drive us mad. Mm -hmm. you have, if you do not do this, we must leave this place. We shall crush your skull island and make it our new home. Bro, you need to take a chill pill. Peace, warrior. Remember what this fake yeah, one has done. Yeah, he for said. Us. Ah, a blight upon this favored one and all her tiny. I don't want to hear that lip. Dark haired wizard Morgan promised many gifts. Lies. Listen. This one lies also. Shut up. Listen. <laughs> and Wiz, we defeated her, so you're double welcome. Be silent! Yeah. The tailless one stands under my protection. You will remember your place. Yeah, you get him. Put him in Three place. Three <laughs> statues stand in the chamber of fire. Chokakab's tomb. Shatter them, and his dark power will be forever broken. Good luck. Good luck. I don't know if they meant to call him Shaka Khan, like as a like a reference to the singer. But we do love Shaka Khan. Also, fun fact, story time, I guess, while I'm walking over here. Um, I went to the store the other day to get groceries. Um, I live in North Carolina, so I don't know how many people around the world are watching me, but um, I have friends who live up north, and I live down south in America, on the east side. Obviously, that's where North Carolina is, but one of my friends lives in Iowa, and she's never heard of an Ingles before. But that's where I go shopping. I always go to Ingles. And so, um, can I get in the battle with you? Thank you. Please let me in! Ahoy, pirate! Yeah! <laughs> anyway, um, if you don't know, there are Starbucks in, like, little mini Starbucks stalls in, um, Ingles. Are you gonna talk? Quick! Run up the stairs and get to the top. The entrance will be up there, so will our welcoming committee go down. I forgot. More people in battles means less dialogue, <laughs> but anyway. Um... Yeah. Just do that. But anyway, um, me and my mom were going to the store to just pick up groceries for the week. And we literally, like, had finished everything up, went over to Starbucks to get drinks on the way out. And um, I was sitting there wearing a Death Leopard t-shirt because I grew up listening to Death Leopard because my mom is a huge fan of Death Leopard. And when she met my stepdad, he is also a huge fan of Death Leopard. So I've literally grown up since I was probably, like... I don't know. I think I started listening to them with her, with her, my mom at least, when I was eight years old. So I've listened to them basically my whole life. I'm 20 now, <laughs> so I know who they are. Like I know their names. I know, you know, not like super super in depth lore about Death Leopard, but I know enough about them. And um, it was kind of funny because let's see, can I hit? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I forgot about my frog. Um, hold up. 
we'll get them. But yeah, anyway, we're sitting here and we're getting Starbucks and there's this older woman who was getting our order and she looked at me and she was like, another uh, millennial who thinks that our music was cool because it's a vintage and I'm like, girl, first of all, I'm not a millennial. I was born in 2002, I'm a Gen Z. And second of all, um, people can like things from other generations, like, excuse you, it's not vintage, I would say, but um, definitely, like, you know, it's not something that's in my time period, not a lot of my, like, you know, people who are my generation, maybe not even younger, listen to Def Leppard or bands like that, like the Rolling Stones or um, like Cinderella is another big one that I listen to because of my stepdad or Led Zeppelin. Not a lot of people know them, not people frequently listen to them, but I do because I grew up listening to it and I am not one of those people who wear a band t-shirt just because it's a t-shirt, you know? I have to know who it is, so if I ever go out in public and I get questioned like I did, I can tell them like, hey, this is my favorite things and I know about this band. So anyway, this woman was probably in her like 60s and is there going to be dialogue? I'll shut up if there's dialogue. Where it at? Give me that dialogue so I can get back to my story. Yeah, I guess not. Anyway, um, I was waiting for my drink and she was like, millennials. Um, <laughs> I'm not a millennial, but anyway, uh, why can I do a hit all? That's, that sucks. Um, I guess I can do that. Oh, who, what, oh. That was very confusing. Watch this. Okay, we'll just hit done. Anyway, um, she then started questioning me on my favorite Def Leppard songs because she really did not believe that I knew anything about this group. Like, <laughs> anyway, she's like, so what are your two favorite songs? Because one isn't enough. And I was like, first of all, attitude. Second of all, my favorite song by Def Leppard is in fact Photograph. And my second is um, Have You Ever Needed Someone So Bad? Two favorite songs. I know them by heart. I love them. They're great. Is that a sloth? It's my favorite animal. But anyway, yeah. Um, this woman, like, she's like 60, so she was like, oh, well, I guess someone actually does know about the band. And I was like, yeah, I grew up listening to them, and my mom's standing right next to me, so I was like, yeah, she has always played the band, so, like, I know them by heart because my mom, you know, I listened to them since I was growing up because of my mom. Okay. <laughs> And so this lady was like, well, it's nice to see a younger person um, questioning the classics. And I'm like, two seconds ago, you just said that your music was vintage and now you're calling it classics? Like, pick a side. But like, I don't know, that was just so like rude in my opinion. Like, you could have put that in a nicer way instead of being like, oh, well, younger people listening to older music, ugh. You could have just asked me, like, oh, are you a fan? Do you know any songs, you know? Which, yeah, I do. And I would be happy to answer that without the attitude. <laughs> but my mom <laughs> was, like, sitting there, like, laughing the whole time. Because my mom knows that I know the band. Like, she's literally drilled songs into my head. And, like, you know... Those are just two of my favorite ones. I do have to say my third favorite is probably Hysteria, which is my mom's favorite. <laughs> and also, um, when Love and Hate Collide, that's a big, big favorite one. But I do have to put Hysteria above it just because it's it's good. <laughs> I just I just cannot believe the sass that that woman was throwing at me. Like, it just makes you kind of upset, though. Oh, let's move up a little bit. It just makes me upset, because I can like whatever I want to like. Haha. <laughs> -ha. But yeah, that was story time with him. <laughs> like, I'm definitely not a huge Led Zeppelin- no, not- Like, I'm definitely not a huge fan of Def Leppard, but, you know, I like some of their songs, you know? They're really good, like, and they've definitely, like, 
done a lot to contribute to music. Like, I think everyone knows Pour Some Sugar on Me. And I swear that lady was probably thinking she's going to say a basic answer like Pour Some Sugar on Me because everybody knows that Steph Leopard and, you know, I'll then question her about anything else. But she didn't have to because I didn't even say Pour Some Sugar on Me. It is not in my top four. It's probably top five. It's probably it's in the fifth spot, not going to lie. <laughs> I'll put it in the fifth spot. But now you know my top five Death Death Leopard songs. Move, battle. Come, friends. Let us find more foes. Let us enter the pyramid. Looks like somebody pried that stone door open recently. There's our way down. Be careful. Ooh, who's down here? I have the perfect gear on and mount for this place. The glory of Chaka Cobb, Lord of New Azteca. Destroy the smooth skinned barbarians. That's kind of rude, but okay. Um, 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 let's just move on up, I guess. That's really all you can do. Barnabas? Is that his name? Oh my god, I want him! Where do you get Barnabas? Someone in the comments tell me where I can get the Barnabas um, minion crew guy, I don't know, him? Companion? <laughs> Need to remember the right use of words for these guys, but companion, I guess? I want him! He's a sloth, and they're my favorite animals. Um, I don't think I can hit you, can I? Why can't I use this? What? I'm really confused, but okay. Is that all? Um, I'm having trouble. I'm sorry. Is your name Jack? I'm sorry, I'm making you wait on me. I'm having a time because I don't understand my new spells. Inky Charles, okay. Charles, not Jack. If you're a pirate, your name just has to be Jack to me. I'm sorry. If you are a male pirate, you must be a Jack. For obvious reasons. Ooh, get him, Barnabas. Yeah. Slay. <laughs> Barnabas. Oh, stop hitting my frog. Stop hitting my frog! You are killing my frog! <laughs> Not my frog. Okay, we got one dead. Haha. -ha. Okay, let's see. Um. Can I. I can do that, and then we'll get you. We'll just put you here, and then you can get that guy. Does he have his minions on auto? Is that why he's moving so fast? Because he's moving so, so fast. Like, I'd like to be strategic and just let my minions help me by my own control. So I feel like that makes it go so much easier. When you have someone do exactly what you want them to do, it makes it so much easier. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I do really enjoy the battle style here in Pirate more than I do in Wiz. Because I feel like in Wiz, like, obviously it's still turn-based, but, you know, it's almost like in Wiz how you can have, like, cheats, I guess, which it's not cheating, but you have, like, moments where, like this, like, you can literally just keep, like, going. You know, you can block and, um, vengeance and whatever the other R word says, ripistol or whatever that is. I can't English. Okay. But like, I really like this. I like how it feels more alive. Like it definitely feels like a game of chess almost where you have like a board of like police pieces and players and like, you know, you have squares that you stand on. It's like a board game and I like that. It's literally like a board game come to life. I thought I honestly would not like this style of battle when I first started Pirate, but it's honestly grown on me a lot. 
Like at first I really did not care for it. Now we're going to fight our way down too. Lovely. And I really like how the crew talks to you. Fools! You will never reach the chamber of fire alive. Destroy them, my pets. Sky Snake. Do do do. Can I get you? I cannot. Neither can you. Okay, you can though. Easy, I don't know how. Easy. How can she move so much farther than me? But yeah, I really like it. At first, I wasn't a big fan of how Pirate played out, but I really do enjoy it now. Like, it's really grown on me. The story is really good. I really enjoy the story. I really like the, like, I think it was episode three, where we went and, um, I, was it Davy Jones Walker? The little spooky cave episode, that was probably my favorite. I love anything kind of spooky in games. Like, I'm not a big fan of horror games, but I like the spookiness, you know? So like, that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. I'd like to see more like spooky ghost caves and underworld stuff. So like, let me know if there's any more of that because that's really nice. I really do enjoy it. Um. Let's do that. Let's get you to hit him. Let's get you to hit him. And we'll just get you to go here. Super hit. This guy snake. Yeah, get that snake. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, I like that little face. That face. Very nice. Nice. Be nicer if I killed that snake. Get him, Charles. Yes. Peter Quint. He looks just like the same model of like the fish and like Lucky Hook line, I think his name is, in Wiz. <laughs> Also, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I am still working on the Wiz uh, walkthrough. Like, I still am working on it. I'm just prioritizing Pirate right now because as I'm recording, it is the last day of the free trial. So I'm trying as much as I can to get as many episodes out before I go and pay to play. Um, I can't do too much. So I guess we can move down here a bit. First strike. Nice. Didn't even get my actual attack on him. Does he have any crewmates? Doesn't, oh yeah, he does. He has Barnabas and the other guy. I just didn't see them because they're like going transparent. I mean, mine were two, but not that transparent. Okay, we don't really need that. Because I got it. I'll kill. Do, 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 do. Get these chests. I'm gonna unlock this one, my guy. Okay, where do we go? Feel that heat. We must be getting close to this chamber of fire. Okay, this way. Oh, it's actual heat? Like actual fire? Oh! The statues and victory is ours. The statues? We'll deal with the guardians. What statues? There's no statues. You told me to beat all the enemies. You lied. Liar. Okay, well, let's get over here. Do, 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 do. Huh? My stepdad just texted me and he was like, Do you want unicorn bookends? I show you guys yes. unicorn <laughs> book ends. Oh, oh. Okay, maybe that'll go on the Glitter M channel. Maybe I can paint that. Maybe that could be a fun little project because I like unicorns, obviously. <laughs> I gotta find out. We're doing a for dinner tonight. So it's usually just me and my mom. Oh, is this the spell? This is the hit all spell. I've been hitting the wrong one. 
Okay, well, I guess I'll do that. And then hit you. And then hit you. Or... Okay, well, I can't... Can I... Hello? Froggy lady. Yes. Okay, well, I can't really get by, so I'll just let them do whatever they want. But usually it's just me and my mom tonight, but um, my stepdad has a friend staying over today um, from out of town. They're on like some like little like family reunion trip. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know she could do that. Maybe I should let them just be automatic for once in a while. But yeah, I have no idea what we're doing for dinner, so I am trying to get as many episodes done today as I can for various games. Also, I guess I could put this here, but um, I want to start playing some horror games. Um, would you guys like to see that on stream? Or would you just want to see me play it in my own time? Because um, I mentioned this before, but I lost a lot of data from my computer because one of my files just like broke. It got corrupted. And so, so many videos I had already filmed got lost. And I had recorded half of Poppy Playtime, the first chapter. And um, yeah, that, that got deleted, which I'm not too mad about because I really didn't like it when I saw the recording like I need to fix the camera settings because it's way too like blurry when you move and it was very headache inducing so um, I'm not too mad that I have to re-record it but um, um let's do this do this why can't I get to you Okay, make sure I didn't use her her thing there. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, um... <sighs> but yeah, would you guys like to see that on stream and see my live reaction? And then just see me, like, edit it into an actual video? Because I know that's what a lot of, like, streamers who primarily stream do. But primarily, did I say primarily? That is the wrong word. That is like a death word. <laughs> primarily stream they like will do a stream of something and then they'll just edit it down so i don't know maybe i could do that because i i played the game obviously like i said but um your girl was not very good at it like <laughs> did not understand what i was doing whatsoever would you like to see me scream on live because i can Let's do that, and then you... Actually, can I get my frog? Okay, there we go. Make sure these guys are infected. Okay, cool. Which, I don't I don't know if I'd scream on, on stream. Like, I'm... Like, when I get scared, I do, like, little, like, hiccups, like... Like, yips. <laughs> I don't really scream. Like, you know how some YouTubers have, like, visceral reactions to horror games where they're like... Or whatever. That is not me. Like, I like horror stuff to begin with. Um, I just don't play the games a lot. Oh, my backpack is full. Okay. Okay, you don't have to keep telling me this. Backpack. <laughs> That's a good start. Now smash the crystal statues, quick. Crystal statues. What crystal statues? Okay. Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, this is very reminiscent of, um, Crocotopia. With the little, like, um... Okay, I'll let you get it since you're going down there. If I can get my thoughts in order. You know how you go to, like, Kraka Patra? Her? Her little dungeon? Um, you have, like, the little slopey things, because you have the both trials and then the middle. That's what it reminds me of. Um, what are we doing? Are we good? Am I waiting on him? I guess I am. Destroy the white crystal statue. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so that's our objective. I don't know if we have to defeat everyone or what, but, um, we'll do. They're gonna attack me, of course. Do do do. Get him. No, no, not you. No, I meant someone that I get him. But he, he did. Okay, there he goes. Wrong person, but at least he got one. No, my little puppies. Oh, my little girl's on her, on her back with the belly in the air. 
She's so weird. Like, okay, I have three dogs, and one of them, Gus, he is a fighter. <laughs> like, if you touch his belly, he will bite you. He does not like belly touches, but he lays on his back a lot, where his belly is up. Like, he wants you to rub his belly, but he is, like, 100%. You can only, like, rub his back and his head, and that's it. Like, no paws. Do not touch the paws. Do not touch the belly. Like, you can touch a little bit of the chest, but don't go too low, or he's like, mm-mm. You're not gonna do that. Um, I think I'll just smack. Oh. Okay. Can I get my, my big hits? My big hits on it? Let's get it. Okay. But yeah, anyway, um, my other one is Gretel. She's my girl. I have a Hansel and a Gretel, so they go together. Kind of. They don't look anything alike, because Hansel is a... I mean, they're all mini schnauzers, but Hansel is borderline standard because he's so big and he is a black schnauzer and then i have gretel who is brown and white and then i have gus who is white and brown <laughs> so yeah um hansel and gretel are like the only ones who like want belly rubs like gretel she doesn't really mind it but hansel will literally like throw himself like he's a pretty chunky guy like He's not a small dog. <laughs> like, for someone who's supposed to be a mini schnauzer, he is 26 pounds, which is over, like, you know, like, he's not overweight, but he's just over the, like, the limit of what a mini schnauzer is supposed to be. And the vet said sometimes that can happen. Did you sneeze? Bless you. <laughs> the vet's like, sometimes that just happens with dogs. Sometimes you get a real big one, sometimes you get a real small one. Now, which is weird because we've got literally a medium, small, and a large in each of my schnauzers. So I have Gretel, who's the smallest, at 12 pounds. And then we have Gus, who is perfect at like 16, 18 pounds. Um, and then Hans is 26 pounds. Hello. Are you waking up from your nap? Let's all get the statue. I'm guessing someone is starting to wake up because I'm talking about them. Hello, my beautiful girl. <laughs> Very beautiful. Not that you guys can really see. Okay, yeah, just to defeat that. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's okay. I will clean my backpack out. Bean's power is broken at last. Okay, back to my guy. Let's get back to Halak and tell him the good news. And the good news. And then I will clean my backpack out. Where you at? Hey! You have lifted the shadow from our soul, scaleless one. We are in your debt. We will build our new home on this isle and live here in peace. Good. If Hello. gold is what brought you here, we are glad to repay you with it. Go forth, and may the stars guide your path. Ah, well, that's done. Ooh, let's take some of this gold to old Zadok. I mm. figure he's earned his share. Oh, guess what we just did? Manny! Is that you? Wait! Now, you're the ones Manny sent! You're back! The city, was it up there? I knew it! And the goal? You found it! Bless me! Well done! Well done indeed! I can't believe it! After all this time! I'm not dreaming, am I? And the monsters didn't even eat you! What's that? Friendly lizards? I'll have to see this with my own eyes! You go on! Tell Manny he's forgiven! Oh, okay, that's nice. I feel like Manny's quest wasn't that long. Like, everyone else was pretty bad. Like, it was pretty long. But I liked Manny's quest. I do have to say that um, Moe's quest was my favorite. But, you know, it's not bad. Um, where are you at, Manny? There you are. Say, dog's alive and well. Found yep. his city of gold at last, did he? I thank you, pirate. May your life follow a better course than ever mine did. Oh. Go, pirate, and tell Lasco Manny's bound for a better home. Oh, okay. We finally helped him. There's this little, little body down there. This is really sad. This whole like dinner poisoning table is really sad. Manny haunts this cave no more, thanks to you. Well done. I thank ye, pirate. I got those poor lads mixed up in this business, and now I've done right by them. Time to deal with mm -hmm. Redbeard. Now you can honor your part of the deal. I don't know where Redbeard's gone, but I wager I know who does. He's the hidden mastermind behind every black market, criminal scheme, and dirty deal here to Mushu. 
Go to Jonah Town and find Captain Ahab. Tell him you want to talk to the Frog Father. <laughs> the Frog Father? Like the Godfather? <laughs> okay, anyway. That is where I'm going to leave today's episode off. We finally finished up this little poisoned dinner quest. And next time we will be looking for the Godfather, or should I say the Frog Father. And so yeah, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I do have a Kofi link down below if you would like to donate and help out the channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.